Hey there, Treasure Hunt fans. Your old pal Big D back here again with a, a movie collection update. So I've never done one of these before, so please bear with me. I've talked about it before, about doing my 4Ks and doing my steelbook, stuff like that. I thought I'd start a little bit small and then work my way up. So this collection is going to be for my Shout Factory and Scream Factory releases. Now, most people know that Shout Factory, Scream Factory is the same company. Some people don't, but they are the same company. The Scream Factory line of their division puts out all their horror movies. Then the Shout put Factory portion of their line, they put out everything else. So it'll be action, drama, comedy, stuff like that. So what I want to do is, I got this broke up into three parts, this video. First part, I'm going to show you all my horror, my Scream Factory horror movies. Then I'm going to show you what I have for the Shout Factory line. So I do have a few Shout Factory movies. And then the last thing I do is show you my Steelbooks. Because they do put out some Steelbooks. So I want to show you what the Steelbooks that I have them. All right. So these are in no order. They're just kind of all over the place. So um, please... Please, please bear in mind that with uh, Scream Factory and Shout Factory, a lot of times um, they'll put out these really cool special editions, but they'll also put out their own their own original movies as well. So I've incorporated all those into my mix here. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to start off with the first one I have is The Strangers. Great movie. Um, love this movie. Got the slip cover with it. Um, picked this up, I believe it was a Best Buy a while back. So great movie i do have the sequel as well but it is not a screen factory release so um this again is just for these movies so there's that next uh, another movie with slip cover is terror train it's a really good movie uh jamie lee curtis come on you can never go wrong with her um let's see here next we got i love this movie my wife it's, it's my wife and my one of our top five movies we love together especially for the holidays uh, uh, being halloween is shocker great movie i love this movie so much um Seen it so many times. Uh, awesome movie. Peter Berg, really good in it. Next um, is another movie that I really enjoyed. It stars Patrick Stewart. And you all know I'm a big Star Trek fan. So the movie's called Life Force. And this one does have its slipcover. And my understanding is this slipcover apparently is really hard to find. Like really hard to find. Now I know that Screen Factor just released this movie in a steelbook format. But I, yeah, this is really cool. I, I really like this movie. Space Vampires. Just fun movie. All right, next we got, and this is pop, this is another one of those top five my wife and I love the most together. I really love this movie. I think I saw it like, I don't know, eight, nine times in theaters. I love this movie, and it's Tales from the Crypt Presents Demon Knight. I love this movie. This movie is so good. It has got comedy. It's got scares. I just, oh, and I got the slip cover to it. It's just, I love it. All right, I don't have, and I know I'm going to hear about it from some people, I don't have the sequel um, Bordello of Blood. I've never gotten that one. I think it's because I can't, I want to find it with a slip cover, and the only time I've ever found it is without it. And so I'm like, eh, I'm going to have the first one, that one. So I'm kind of in limbo on that one. All right, next, this is what I picked up not too long ago at, at, at Best Buy, and that is um, Drag Me to Hell. Great Sam Raimi movie. Really good. Really like this movie. I remember seeing this, uh, it, We I didn't see it in theaters, and I bought it during Halloween. This is a few years ago. Bought it for Halloween so we could have, we, we always do every year at my house, we do a, a Halloween movie marathon. Everybody puts a title of a movie they like into a hat. We draw the we draw the, we draw the movies and that's the order we watch them in. And so a few years ago, I picked this up when it came, when did it come out? When did it come out? Uh, I can't see. Uh, 2009. I think it was around 2009, 2010 when it, when it came out to Blu-ray. I picked up just on a whim just because I wanted to watch something new on Halloween we love this movie. This movie was so good. It was so much. It wasn't what I expected. Loved it. If you ever get a chance, check it out. Drag Me to Hell. Next, and this is part of their. Um, this this is this is considered Shout Factor, but I kind of see it's Scream Factor as core. It's a it's under the Roger Corman classics, and this is Forbidden World. I just saw this movie for the first time in probably, I don't know, twenty some odd years. Recently, I loved it so much I had to pick it up. My, my wife got this movie for my birthday. So really, really good movie. Um, next, and this this movie here is a, is part of their movie division line. It's not a classics movie, I guess class or movie. This is more um, modern. They're one of their movies they produced, and that one is called Ghost Stories. I just picked this up a couple weeks ago. I haven't seen it yet, but it looks really good. It's an anthology movie, and I love anthology movies, so got that one. The next is another one. Unfortunately, I, was, I don't have a slipcover for this one, but I just watched the movie for the first time uh, last week, and it's called Funhouse. Actually, a really good movie. I was really surprised. I really liked it a lot. Um, there were some great death scenes in the movie, and it was just a, just a fun, another fun, great movie. Next we have, and I got this for my birthday, thanks to my wife also, is a classic, big time classic, and that is John Carpenter's Body Bags. 
Another anthology, really, really good. I really like this. I know for the longest time, because I do have this on DVD as well, because the DVD is out of print, like a long time ago out of print. So um, this is pretty cool that she picked this up for me. I'm really stoked by it. Stoked about it. <laughs> Next, and this is this. This movie to me, and I, I haven't gotten the sequel yet because the sequel has actually been put out by MVD, which is another studio. Um, but I love this movie. I remember seeing it as a kid and just being like, yeah, and it's got Adrian Barbeau in it. And my dad was a massive fan of Adrian Barbeau, massive fan. So every time I see her in a movie, I, I get very nostalgic. So this movie is Swamp Thing, which is actually a DC movie, believe it or not, comic book. So um, this is a great movie. It, this is back in the day when they still used practical effects. So, you know, and it's Wes Craven. I mean, can it get any better than that? So, ah, Swamp Thing. Love it. Next, this is another one of those Roger Corman movies, part of the shot line, but I, I kind of incorporate it. Um, it's Star Crash. Um, wow, this movie is cheesy, but it's cheese beyond cheese, and it's awesome. I mean, I love this movie. It is just, oh, man. It is early 80s just cheese, but it's so good. It's kind of a parody of... It's, it's not a parody, although you could take it as a parody because I don't think they're trying to be funny, but it is, but it's like Star... They're trying, they're ripping off Star Wars, Star Trek, stuff like that. So it's just... Oh, man, it's just... It's Acton is this guy right here. Acton! Acton! And you're like, what kind of name is that? Just a great movie, though. Star Crash. Um, Next, this is another one of um, um Shout Factory's movies they released, and that is a movie called Beyond the Gates, Really good movie. It's 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 kind of Jumanji, but in a horror movie, uh, horror movie setting. So the guys play this game, and all of a sudden, things start to happen, and they have to complete tasks in this game. Otherwise, bad things happen. Really, really good movie. It crept up on me. I kind of checked it out because I heard one of the reviewers say it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Good movie. Next, oh man, this movie holds a special place in my heart. This is one of my dad, my favorite movies. We love this movie because we're both big fans of Clive Barker, and that is Nightbreed, the director's cut. What a great movie. I mean, you just cannot go wrong with the movie. I love this movie. It's a lot of fun. Great practical effects. This is, again, most of these movies that are in, in, in Screen Factory line are all older 80s, some 70s, 80s, maybe early 90s, but that's back in the day when they used practical effects. They didn't just use digital for everything. So this movie, again, the creatures in this movie are awesome. The makeup effects are ma amazing. So you already get a chance. Nightbreed. Great movie. All right, next... This is another. Wow, that was a long. That was a big breath, wasn't it? This is another one in the Screen Factory line that they 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 released a DVD, not a remaster or anything like that. And that is Anti Birth. Um, and it stars what was it uh, Natasha Lyonne from Orange the New Black, along with uh, Chloe Sevigny. I can never say that. And Meg Tilly. Actually, really interesting movie. The, the basically this girl gets pregnant with like a, a demon's child, and it's like um, and it's just. It's really random, but it's actually really good. I really, really enjoyed it. So, if you get a chance, Anti Birth, good movie. Um, next, another one of our collector series by Screen Factory, and this one does have a slip cover, and that is Slither. Yes, Slither. I mean, oh man, this this movie is so awesome. I love this movie. Uh, I saw it in theaters. Um, not too many people saw it in theaters. I remember when I saw it in theaters, I think it was one or two people in the theater at the time. Just a great, fun movie. I mean, it's got Captain Mal in it from Firefly, so you can never go wrong with that. Just really, really fun. It's uh, is it Greg Henry's in it, along with um, Elizabeth Banks and uh, Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker obviously being from The Walking Dead. So really, really, oh, I love this movie. Great movie, Slither. All right, next we have a movie that I, I'd never seen before. but picked it up because it was on part of a... Screen Factory sale they had last year for I think it was their fifth anniversary, and that is the Final Terror. Really good movie. I really enjoyed it. And I believe this was the one with um, didn't this one have uh, Daryl? Is it Daryl Hannah? Uh, let's see here. Who else? Uh, Adrian's Med. Adrian's Med. That's what it was. Adrian's Med. If you don't know who Adrian's Med is, there was a there was a show in the early, late eighties, early nineties called T.J. Hooker. Uh, starring, uh, starring the ever amazing William Shatner, um, Adrian Zmed was his co-star on that show, so it was kind of funny to see this movie. And I was like, "Wait a minute!" So, but good movie, really good movie. All right, next, probably without a doubt, one of my favorite like um, werewolf movies beyond Lon Chaney's, of course, um, and that is The Howling. I really like this movie. This is a really well done movie. Really, uh, Joe Dante. I mean, can you go wrong with Joe Dante? I mean, the guy, you know, Gremlins. You know, I'm just really, really good movie. The practical effects of this movie are just like American Wolf in London. Very, very well done. Again, 
early 80s. He didn't have the computer technology we have now, so they had to go with practical effects. It just looks better. I just like it so much better. And this is really good. D. Wallace... D. Wallace is in this movie. Of course, there's some Cujo and um, other movies like that. So here we get a chance The Howling. Great movie. All right, next. I should do these to... Uh, well, this one's not really... Yeah, it is. Okay. So um, the next one is a movie Pumpkinhead and Pumpkinhead 2. So yes, these both are Scream Factory, although this is the Scream Factory's... It's got some special features on it, just not as many as normal because it's not a collector's edition. This Pumpkinhead is a collector's edition. Both these are really good movies. I really do enjoy these movies. Lance Henderson's in this one. Just just really good, fun, 80s horror. Great stuff. All right. So as we proceed further, um, next we have, I'm going to show both these at the same time too. Recently just got one that just came out, and I got the other one a while back, and that is Return of the Living Dead 1 and 2. Yes, both these movies. Fortunately, I don't have the slip cover for this, and that's really rough because I probably never will get it because people want a lot of money for it. I do have this one for this one, though. Um, <laughs> these are great, fun zombie movies. I mean, just unbelievable zombie movies. Yes, they don't really have much to do with each other because it's not a continuation of the story. It's a kind of a different story. But they do use a couple of the same characters just with different names in this one that was in this one. But these are just fun. It, it These movies really mix comedy and horror together really well. You just, Linnea Quigley's in this one. I mean, you just can't go wrong. These are fun movies. If you ever get a chance to watch this, I guarantee you'll like them. All right, next, and this is a dual feature one uh, put out by them. It's called Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. Um, I have never seen Vault of Horror. I still haven't sat down and watched that yet. Tales from the Crypt, I have seen that movie when I was a kid, and I remember really liking it a lot. This is another one of those ones I was able to... Uh, no, actually, I got this one at a pawn shop for like two bucks. So you just can't... Screen Factor for two bucks? It just can't happen. So that's awesome. Next, um, this movie is coming out with a a um, steelbook um, next month along with a doll, like, an, like a tall action figure doll of the main character in the movie. And that is Night of the Demons. Without a doubt, one of my top ten horror movies of all time. I love this movie. Here's my cat. I love this movie. This movie is so great. Every character is just amazing. Linnea Quigley again. Um, just a lot of fun. It's about a group of people that go to this this old rundown mortuary to have have fun during Halloween. But the mortuary is has got demons in there, and it, it just all, everybody starts to run amok. And it's just it's great. Great comedy. Again, very great. Really, really good practical effects. I love this movie. Awesome special features. And yes, by the way, I did pre-order my copy of this deal because I want the dang action figure because the action figure is amazing looking. So that's Night of the Demons. Uh, next is another one of those Roger Corman classics. I probably should have put those together, huh? Made that separate thing. Oh, well. And that one is Humanoids from the Deep. Man, let me tell you. Cheese beyond cheese, the humanoids from the deep. They're in these like rubber costumes. They're kind of walking around. You can totally tell it's rubber costumes. But again, a lot of fun. This is these are movies. These Roger Corman classics are ones you just sit down with a couple of your friends, have a few beers, something like that, and watch them and just laugh. Great fun movie. Um, next is um, part of the George Romero line. I did pick these up, um, and this one is Land of the Dead. I've always really liked Land of the Dead. I remember seeing it in the theaters when it came out. I've always loved this movie. It's a really well done movie. I like the progression of the story in this one, where there's, you're starting to see in this one, but at this point that the zombies are kind of uh, some of their memories are starting to come back. It's the most basic rudimentary of memories are starting to come back, so they're able to do things. And some of the some of the zombies are actually starting to become a little bit smart, which they kind of delved into in Day of the Dead. But really great movie. It's got a great cast all the way from was it. Uh, Simon Baker from I think it was Numbers was the show he was on. Dennis Hopper in this movie, rest in peace, unfortunately. And John Leguizamo is awesome in this movie. So if you ever get a chance, check out Land of the Dead. Then along with that, because it came out the same day from Scream Factory, is uh, I would say it's pretty much my favorite zombie movie of all time, or close to it. Night of the Living Dead, probably my favorite, but this is darn near pretty close to it. That is the remake of Dawn of the Dead. I love this movie. It is very rare when they do a remake where the remake, I think, is just as good, if not some in some cases better than the original. Don't get me wrong. I love the original Dawn of the Dead. That, to me, I've seen that movie probably more times than most other movies I own in my collection. So when I went into this, I remember seeing this in theaters. When I went into this, I remember thinking, oh, they're not going to be able to do this. It's going to be trash, blah, blah, blah. But the changes they made in this movie 
worked and it worked really really well in my opinion one of the best opening sequences to a movie ever made i love this movie i sit down every year and watch this probably two or three times during the year this is an awesome movie i am so stoked i got the collection edition i got the slip cover i even got the darn mini poster that comes with it um so awesome um and if you don't know usually when you order movies from screen factory a lot of times you will get a poster if you order early enough um you'll get a poster or you'll get some sort of other free thing so i did get posters for both land of the dead and dawn of the dead because i pre-ordered them early uh let's see here next is probably one of john carpenter's best movies ever made besides halloween halloween in my opinion greatest movie ever but this is right up there with it too and it's the thing you cannot go wrong with this. And yes, I know I don't have the slipcover, unfortunately. I love this movie. This movie is so good. It holds up even to this day. I just watched it not too long ago. This movie holds up to the current movies are being flushed out now into theaters. This is so good. It is so well done. It, it This is a movie that far surpasses the original. Because there was an original thing movie that came out, I, I want to say in the, like the 50s. This movie blows it away. Kurt Russell, at top of his game, Oh, I love this movie. The Thing. Next, and this is another one of those uh, movies. It's not a clutch edition, but it's a great movie. It's more my, it's my, it's probably my wife's favorite movie, if not second favorite movie of all time, and that would be Stigmata. This is a really good movie. Jennifer Arquette, really well done. Gabriel Burns in it. Um, just an awesome movie. It very, it's got all, all kinds of religious overtones, obviously through it, hence the name. But it's really, really well done. I love this movie. I got the religious movies like this. The religious horror movies, my favorites would be this one. I love End of Days with Schwarzenegger. I love that one too. But this is really good. Next is another movie that. It's a Star Trek person in this movie, number one. Number two, I remember seeing this movie as a kid on HBO, and I must have watched it like 40 times that summer when it was on. I love this movie so much because I love movies like this where like it's just a couple people in a city, there's nobody else left, and they gotta def and they got to protect themselves. And that movie is Night of the Comet. And you're probably wondering, well, who's the guy from Star Trek? Well, the guy from Star Trek would be um, uh, Robert Beltran, who played Chakotay in Voyager. That is right. This is a fun, great movie. Just, oh man, I love this movie. The store are upon us. These two girls are going around going to all these stores because everybody's dead because the comic kind of wiped out most people. I love this movie. It's really good. It always makes me, every time I watch it, and I must watch it a couple times a year probably, every time I think about it, it's like, what would I do in that situation? So if you ever get a chance, a night of the comic. All right, next is, man, it is so hard with John Carpenter because... I don't think I've ever seen a John Carpenter movie that I haven't absolutely loved. Every time he puts out a movie, I'm just like, I'm awestruck because I, because he just does a really good job. He knows how to do tell a good story, put some good practical effects in the movie, and really make you just sit down and enjoy it. And that movie is They Live. This is actually coming out, or has it, it's, no. This actually has a steelbook to it as well. Um, but this movie is awesome. Come on, even right there. Bye. You know, it's got the, I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. You just, you can't go wrong with quotes like this. Roddy Piper, rest in peace. Such a great movie. This movie has, without a doubt, the longest fight scene of all time. I mean, it's just absurdly long. You watch, and you're like, what the? Because it goes on for like 15 minutes. These guys just beat each other up. But this is such a great movie. And essentially, it's about aliens have come down on the planet. They've taken over. They look like us. They, they, they kind of look like us, unless you have these special glasses that you can see what their true identities are. And it's just a great movie. You every chance they live. All right, next is another movie that I picked up on a whim because part of the Shout Factory, Screen Factory sale last year. And that movie is Without a Warning. And I actually haven't watched this yet, but I've been told by several people it's really good. So I'm definitely going to check it out. But it's it's Aliens. It's, yeah, it's right up my alley. It's a total 80s schlock. I love it. I'm in. Next is another movie not um, part of their collector series, but part of one of their um, movies they're, they put out on their own. And that is a movie called The Hollow. I actually picked this up not too long ago with Slip. I couldn't believe it. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I'm going to be watching it here pretty soon, probably next month for Halloween. But I'm um, pretty stoked. It's it's very rare when you find these things out in the wild, especially the thrift store. So I had to pick that up right away. Uh, let's see here. Next is um, <laughs> a movie called... <laughs> this, is, this cracks me up. Another one of their line. It's called Vampire Lovers. Um, this movie is... I've ever seen this movie as a kid, believe it or not. Even though it's, it was R-rated. I think I was probably 12 when I saw it. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe even 10. 
I actually really liked this movie. I thought it was cheese beyond cheese. It did kind of scare me a little bit, but it was a different take for me because about it was about female vampires instead of male vampires. Me growing up in the 70s, it was all male-oriented, so you never get to see stuff like this where they flipped it and had a female vampire going. So, I mean, there was times they would do something like that, but it, was, it wasn't as like prevalent it is now so it was a great flip on the, t uh, the the vampire story so vampire lovers good movie um next is a movie and this is not part of, this is a, this is a collector's edition and it is lake placid betty white that's all i have to say if you've seen this movie name uh, say betty white you know what i'm talking about bill pullman's also in this movie um bridget fonda's movie and oliver platt because oliver platt between oliver platt and betty white this movie's amazing just because of those two actors this is a great movie about a big old croc going around running muck. A lot of fun. Just just great movie. If you haven't seen it, I, I don't want to see too much more because I could ruin it, but definitely check it out. Lake Placid. The next movie, and why is that dusty? The next movie is a movie that came out in the 80s. I remember seeing it in the theaters, and I really liked it. And it came out this time as another movie that took place underwater. This one is Leviathan with uh, Peter Weller. A really great movie. These people... They're they're doing mining they're mining under under the water and they come up upon this old Russian ship that was scuttled and they go inside they find this like vodka it's the vodka is tainted with the stuff that they, that kind of makes people metamorphose into something else and it's just oh, this is a great movie really well done I always loved it a lot even though I mean it was just and again eighties practical effects really well done. By the way, the other movie that came out around the same time was a movie called Deep Star Six that had the guy from My Two Dads in it. Um, I actually really liked that one as well. Um, and also I had Miguel Ferrer in that one. Um, but this movie is a great movie. If you ever get a chance to check it out. I actually found this at a pawn shop too. Um, next is a movie, and I, I know I believe it had another title, but I was I was kept it. What was the other title? Yeah. It was originally called Dark Angel, and then they changed it to I Come in Peace with Dolph Lundgren. This movie's great because it's got this bad guy with this alien going. I come in peace. Then he shoot these like there. There were CDs. He would shoot CDs at people, and they cut you know cut their neck or cut you know do whatever to them. But just a really really fun movie. So I come in peace. Next is a two pack. It's a what do they call one of their collection edition two packs, um, and that is Terror Vision and Video Dead. These are great movies. Terror Vision's wacko. I mean, it's crazy. I, I mean, I imagine if you were like really drunk or stoned or something like that watching the movie, it'd probably be like the most psychedelic experience you've ever seen. But this movie is a trip. This movie is really good too. It's a little bit different, kind of a different take on uh, like a zombie movie, but really good movies. I love these movies. I do watch these every year. Um, next, and I just watched one of these the other day, and the other one I haven't watched just quite yet, but this is another double feature by them, and that is uh, Frogs and Food of the Gods. I just watched Frogs the other day. Uh, I really liked Frogs. It was, it was really interesting, you know, just, I like to watch movies where, like, nature runs amok, and, like, you know, like, random, and it's not always, like, sharks or some Bigfoot or some, you know, weird creature like that. When it's random, like, frogs, and frogs just start to run amok. I love watching movies like that to see how they pin it. It's kind of like watching one of those, like, Ben or whatever like that, so... And I haven't seen this one yet, but I do plan on sitting down, but uh, sitting down and watching it soon. So, frogs and food of the gods. Next is another double feature, and I did get this recently, and I bought this more for one than the other. And this is this is part of the Scream Factory line, although they're not really horror movies. And that is um, Dungeon Master and Eliminators. And I have never seen Dungeon Masters. I actually bought this because of Eliminators. Eliminators started another Star Trek alum, um, and if you can name her, I will give you massive points, and I've all of a sudden just kind of, yeah, where is it? Um, oh, she played, where is it? It's going to drive me nuts until I find it. Denise Crosby, that's what it is. Denise Crosby, she played Ensign, uh, well, uh, Lieutenant Yar on the first season of Next Generation, and then she came back a couple more times throughout the series. But I just like this because it, Eliminators is really cheesy. This guy is kind of half robot, half man. I think we call him the Mandroid. And, like, he's going back to go after this guy who turned him into this. And, uh, like, Denise Crosby was the one. Some of her her ideas were in the Mandroid. And it's, it's really, really cheesy, but it's a lot of fun. It's, it's ah, man. Brings back memories of being a kid again. Next is a movie that my wife picked up for me uh, for my birthday. And that is a movie called The Nest, which I just watched, um... A couple weeks ago, actually. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. Again, another one of those movies. If you've seen a Steam there, see another one. It's, it's Bugs. Bugs going after everybody. I love movies like that where it's like some random creature that's that's here here, here now. It's not like from eight, a space or something like that. Bugs, frogs, rats, whatever. You know, the little creatures that come around and start running amok. Love movies like this. This is actually a really fun movie. Really well done. Again, practical effects. So that's probably why I like it so much. But The Nest... 
Then the last one in the horror line that I have, um, and this is one I just picked up recently too, and I was really surprised I was able to get it with a slipcover because usually when these movies have been out for a while, the slipcovers are gone. I know, I believe that Scream Factor only puts them out for like, maybe the, like the first 300, or I can't remember what the number is. The, oh, the first three months, that's what it is. The first three months that they put these movies out, they come up with a slipcover. After that, they eliminate the slipcover. So that movie is Hell Night um, with Linda Blair. I had never seen this movie before, and I just saw it recently. I really like this movie. This is a really good movie about a bunch, a group of kids. Uh, they're in college, and the um, pledges for the fraternity have to all go and stay in this um, this kind of haunted mansion for an evening and they're trying to mess with them but there's actually some weird people that live there and start killing people off and it was actually a lot of fun and a really good movie so ever get a chance linda blair in something other than the exorcist so hell night so that is it for my um uh, my, my horror movies from that line now i want to go into what i like to call the random ones the random ones that are they're not horror movies but they're also put, they're put up by shout factory which is the same company so the first one is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. I am totally stoked on this, and I do have the steel book for. Um, oh, I didn't bring it here, did I? Um, I do have the steel book for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and I just recently read that they are doing a steel book coming out in October, I believe it is, for Bogus Journey. These are fun movies. You, it's Bill and Ted. I don't need to say anything. These are great movies. Scream Factory puts a ton of stuff. Shop Factory, a, a ton of bonus features in these things. You can never go wrong with these. I'm. I know that they've said they're going to be doing a Bill and Ted 3, and they've been talking about it, and Keanu Reeves has been mentioned, stuff like that. I haven't seen much yet, but I am so excited if they do one, because I love these movies. I'll be honest with you, the second one, I like more than the first one, because of the fact they added this guy in the second one, the Grim Reaper. Oh, man, that game, yeah, he is so awesome, this movie. He makes every scene he is in. I mean, it's just, oh, I love it. So, um, Bill and Ted. This next one is a little bit different, and this is part of their um, com uh, this is one of the collector series. It's a movie not a lot of people know about. It's called Raise the Titanic. This movie was done. I want to say uh, when was it done? When was it done? It doesn't say. Awesome. It doesn't say. Nineteen eighty. Who's done in 1980? This is before Robert Ballard found the Titanic. So, in all intents and purposes, everybody thought that this ship was fully still intact on the bottom of the ocean. It wasn't until Robert Ballard found it we realized it cracked in half. So this movie took the premise of we we there was there was some sort of like I want to say gold or some sort of something in this ship. So the United States c goes out there, uh, almost, uh, and goes out there and raises the Titanic out of the ocean to to get the the treasure that's in there. So back then, I mean, everybody really thought that back then this this ship was still uh, it, it's in in one piece at the bottom of of the Atlantic until obviously in '86 when they found out it wasn't. But it's it's a lot a really fun movie. It's really interesting to see. Again, they use practical effects when the Titanic has to come out of the water. You can kind of tell a little bit of model, but it still looks actually really good. Um, they did a really good job. I believe Jason Robards is in this movie. Yeah, so it's a good movie. If you get a chance, check it out. Next one, and this is a comedy, and I picked this up recently because uh, Yah Yahoo, Amazon had it on sale for like 10 bucks. I had to pick it up. It's a comedy, and that is Teen Wolf, and it came with the slipcover, which I can't believe it came with the slipcover. I love this movie. This is one of the first movies that when I, when I, my parents gave me a VCR back when I was a kid, this is one of the first movies I taped off of HBO. My brother and I, we probably watched this movie, I don't know, every day for a year. We both love this movie so much that we just always would watch it. And I, I think I still actually have that original VHS floating around here somewhere. But I, you can't go wrong. Michael J. Fox, Werewolf, great movie, fun Teen Wolf, man. Um, this next one is more of an action flick. And um, I actually picked this up in the $5 bin at Walmart, and I couldn't believe that. That's a collector's edition of Mad Max, the original the original Max, uh, before he went to uh, become a road warrior and then became uh, went beyond Thunderdome. Um, fun movie, really good. Um, the sp the uh, special features on here are awesome. You can never go wrong. I personally, you can never go wrong. With Mel Gibson. Yes, I know Mel Gibson's cuckoo in the head on his out uh, on his personal life. With his movies that he does, the movies he directs are always home runs. They're really really good. So Mad Max. And the last one I have in the kind of general uh, vicinity, um, let's see here. The last one we have is, um, I love this movie so much. It's part of a TV series that's on for many years, and it's been revived recently by Netflix. My dad and I would sit down and watch these movies and just laugh all the time every time we watched the TV show would come on, and that is Mystery Science Theater 3000, the movie. This movie is so much fun. I love this movie. Crow, Crow T. Robot, Tom Servo, those guys. They, ugh, this movie is so... Oh, man. 
I used to, and as I've said before in some of my other videos, I used to manage uh, Suncoast, which used to be the movie store in the malls back in the day. This movie was always in our in-store play rotation. It was always being played. You don't even have to watch it. You can just listen to the one-liners in this. It's so great. I mean, I want my, I want my own interocitor after seeing this movie. And if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But great movie. Plenty of special features. I believe this might... I, I want to say this is out of print now. I'm not 100% sure. If it's not, I know it's kind of expensive to get. But if you ever get a chance to watch this movie, I guarantee you will laugh from beginning to end. There is no doubt about that. So that is it for my Wranglers, although I am missing two. I could not find them. I think I put them away right now. But I do have Dr. Detroit, which is put out by Shout Factory. And I do have The Burbs. Love both of those movies. Really great movies. Dr. Detroit, I mean, I remember seeing that. I remember being a kid, and it came on HBO. And I watched it. It was an R-rated movie. And I remember thinking, this is like eight, nine years old. I remember thinking, I'm going to get so much trouble. I'm going to get so much trouble. But I kept, I kept watching it because I loved it. So, um, But I do have those as well. Now, the last uh, last set of movies I have here are my steel books. These are my steel uh, my books, uh, uh, with the exception of I done I didn't I didn't bring over. It's down the hallway. I forgot the Bill and Ted, but these are my stream books. Screen uh, steel books by Scream Factory, and the first one is a recent one that just I just got sent to me, and that is Army of Darkness. You gotta own it on. You gotta own this thing. I mean, come on, look at this thing. It's Army of Darkness. I mean, one of the best horror movies of all time. I mean, yeah. So Army of Darkness, the next one is a John Carpenter classic. Not a horror movie, but a great movie. One of his first, it's Assault on Precinct 13. It's a, it's a really good movie. The sequel is actually really good. Oh, not the sequel, but the remake was actually really good too. It's a great movie. Next we have, um, uh, let's see here, Prince of Darkness. Another really good, fun movie. Um, I just watched this actually recently too. I forgot how much I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I should be showing the back, shouldn't I? There's the back. And then the one after that is, of course, Escape from New York. Can you go wrong with this? My only complaint about this is there's no special features on this one. It's just the movie. A little bummed about that. I believe, aren't they releasing something else? Like, down, uh, was it something else announced recently? Or was that The Thing? Maybe The Thing Steelbook. But I would like to see something, a little more features on it. But Because I, I love this movie. This is, this is one of my all-time favorite movies. Escape from New York. All right, next, and I mentioned this earlier in the sh in the show, and the next one is the steelbook for They Live. As you can see on the back, it's got like, see, it says it says obey, and what is this, uh, obey authority and stuff like that. But I love this steelbook. I think the steelbook is great. Really kind of captures the movie's essence and stuff like that. So They Live. Um, then we have another great John Carpenter movie, another amazing John Carpenter movie, and that is The Fog. It's a great movie, and I believe actually some theaters are getting this back for the uh, for a Halloween. It can be shown in select theaters, but this is a great movie. The remake, not so much, although I did have Tom Welling in the remake, which I'm a big fan of Tom Welling because of Smallville, but not nearly as good as the original. Adrian Barbeau, I mentioned it earlier, but I uh, love this movie. Great movie, The Fog, and the last one I have. This is the last one. It's not a horror movie. It's not. It's not. Uh, what a comedy action is actually an animated movie, and that is. Transformers the movie. Can you go wrong? It is, yeah. Can you go wrong with this movie? I love this movie. I remember seeing it in the theaters, and if you haven't seen it by now, I'm going to ruin it anyways. They kill Optimus Prime. I'm like, excuse me? Like in the first 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes of the movie, they killed Optimus Prime. But the, this movie's soundtrack is awesome. I still have the soundtrack to this day. This is a really good animated movie. I've, I've always loved it. This is, this is Transformers, in my opinion, at its best. I know that there's a lot of other incarnations of Transformers, Beast Wars, stuff like that on the road. I truly believe this is when Transformers was at its best. So that is it. That is my Scream Factory Shout Factory collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, uh, leave me some comments down below. Do you have any of these movies that I've shown today? Have you seen these movies that I've seen today? Let me know what your favorites are, stuff like that. Do you have a, a Scream Factory collection like I do? Let me know. Um, also, uh, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos by a big D. Um, also, um, click the, the little bell up there. You want to get notified uh, next videos. I want to thank you guys all for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I got two new subscribers recently. Thank you guys for jumping on board. From the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate it. You guys all rock. Always remember, keep hunting. And I'm, I'm not kidding you. I went out hunting this morning and I found some stuff. So always keep <laughs> hunting. You never know what you're going to find. And as always, live long and prosper. Well, hold on, wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in it. I actually forgot a couple of the Scream Factory movies that I had. I am so sorry. I didn't even realize it when I was walking out. I finished that video. I started editing it the next day. And then I realized, whoa, I dropped off a couple big ones. So I do have one, two, three, four additional 
although there's multiple movies, there's four additional Scream Factory movies that I do have. The first one I do have all, uh, is the It's Alive trilogy. I can't believe I forgot this. I just watched this all three of these movies recently, too. So I do have this one, Scream Factory. It's a great three uh, three edition set, all three movies. Um, you know, a lot really good. I'd never seen part two and part three before. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I'm definitely going to sit down and watch this again. It's got a lot of cool special features, but it's alive. Um, also, I did pick up The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Steelbook. Um, so I did get this as well. I forgot this one as well. I didn't even realize this, this is... I think this, is a, this falls under the Shout Factory, I believe. But still, it is one of their videos. I mean, one of their videos. One of their movies, so Buckaroo Banzai. And then to prove I was not lying, what I said a little bit earlier, here is the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure Steelbook by them. Um, I actually really like the Steelbook. I like the purple in it. It's very cool looking. It's very just kind of basic, but I like it. And then the last, and I can't believe it, I'm really upset with myself for this. The last thing I forgot to show everybody, and that is the Halloween box set. Mm -hmm. I do have the Scream Factory Halloween box set with all the Halloween movies. Although it's going to be out of date here next month, isn't it, when the new Halloween movie comes out. But I do have this set as well. So that is it for my Scream Factories. I do have a bunch of ones that are on DVD, uh, but they're kind of packed away right now, so I can't get those. But that's currently what I have on uh, Blu-ray, so that's it. Thank you guys again. Remember, like, subscribe, and bell it if you want to see more videos out of me. Everybody take care. Always remember, live long and prosper. Whoops, and always keep hunting.